Hi there. The next lamp we have, we've gone back to the tungsten filament, filament like normal lamps of today. But early manufacturing processes meant that lamps were very, very expensive. Don't know the exact cost, but they were very expensive. Various means were done to provide them with perhaps more than one filament. So if one burnt out, you could arrange to bring another one into operation. This is exactly what this lamp does. If we take a look at the base, it's got a collar around it. It's also got th three sets of contacts. The collar will move round. That is one position. And that is the other position. So effectively you have a lamp with two internal filaments. So when one burns out you just move the collar around and you bring in another filament. Two forty volt, forty watt, forty watt. The two filaments within the same lamp. Why it's got this very dark casing, I do not know. It's um, a very unusual lamp indeed. It is believed to be French. We will have a demonstration, show what it's like when it's on. Both filaments do work. But for this purpose, we will just keep it on the one. There we are. This is one of the filaments alight. The other filament does work, it's identical to this one except it would be round the other way. So there we are, a 240, 40 watt, 40 watt lamp with two independent filaments. When one burns out you simply turn the collar round on the base and you've got yourself a new filament. These were done to offset high costs of these lamps. Anyway, the age of this one we're probably talking about the 20s. Certainly that type of era, late 20s, 30s. It's French and as I say it is an unusual bulb. It is not a pip top. Show you the shape, it's not a pip top. Anyhow, many thanks for, for watching. Any comments, please leave them because um, these, these are rather unusual lamps and I, uh, you know, it, it would help others as well. Any information, please let us know. Thank you for watching.